After Apple introduced satellite connectivity for emergency messaging with the iPhone 14, there were speculations that Samsung would offer a similar feature in the Galaxy S23. However, this feature was absent in both the Galaxy S23 and S24 models. Now, it seems Samsung is developing satellite connectivity for the Galaxy S25. Samsung is reportedly preparing a satellite connectivity feature for emergency calling and messaging. Code strings indicating this feature were found in the stock emergency SOs, messages, and phone apps. According to Android Authority, Samsung appears to be preparing satellite connectivity features for emergency calls and messaging. Code strings indicating this feature were discovered in the stock emergency SOs, messages, and phone apps. Here's what Android Authority found out. Emergency SOS, emergency texts via satellite. If you call emergency services when you're out of range or not connected to a mobile network, we'll connect you via satellite so you can send an emergency text. Samsung Messages, satellite mode not supported. Samsung Messages doesn't support satellite messaging. To send and receive texts via satellite, you need to make Google Messages your default messaging. Samsung Phone, you're in satellite mode. You can send text messages including to 911. Emergency calls may still connect if a mobile network is available near you. You can send and receive text messages in satellite mode. Emergency calls may still connect if a mobile network is available near you. Samsung's design team appears to be taking the redesign of their upcoming S-series phones very seriously. Previously, a rumor suggested that the Galaxy S25 Ultra would move away from the sharp corners seen in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, the same tips or reports that changes will also be made to the phone's sides. Samsung leaker Ice Universe has revealed that the Galaxy S25 Ultra's middle frame will feature an asymmetrical design. This means that instead of being entirely straight or distinctly curved, the frame will be rounded near the back of the phone and straighter near the display. According to Ice Universe, this new design will result in a better in-hand feel. While the Galaxy S24 Ultra is one of the best smartphones on the market, it isn't particularly comfortable to hold. Some users find that its sharp edges dig into their palms, while others dislike the large middle frame which gives the phone a wider appearance than it actually has. In addition to altering the shape of the Citerail, Samsung is reportedly going to slim it down. The middle frame of the Galaxy S25 Ultra will be approximately the same width as that of the Galaxy S24. However, this doesn't mean that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will be as thin as the Galaxy S24, which has a width of 7.6 mm. At 8.4 mm, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will still be thinner than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is 8.6 mm thick. Additionally, the Galaxy S24 Ultra's middle frame is quite large, making it feel almost like an extension of the phone's bezels. This might explain why it's difficult to believe that the S24 Ultra's bezels are 42% slimmer than those of the S23 Ultra, despite this being true. On the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the bezels will likely appear thinner, enhancing the phone's overall aesthetics. According to the renowned Samsung leakster, Ice Universe, it is confirmed that the S25 Ultra will feature a much more rounded design, similar to the Galaxy Note 7. Despite the Note 7's infamous battery issues, its comfortable and well-designed form factor was highly praised. The S25 Ultra will bring back this spirit with its rounded design, making it more user-friendly while maintaining the design language of the S24 Ultra. What's truly record-breaking about this design is its thickness. Ice Universe reports that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a body thickness of just 8.4 mm, the thinnest for any Samsung S Ultra model. For comparison, the S24 Ultra is 8.6 mm thick. Impressively, the S25 Ultra will still include a built-in S Pen despite this thin design. In addition to design changes, there's another major rumor regarding the S25 series, Instead of using Qualcomm or Exynos chips, Samsung might implement MediaTek chips for the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. This move is due to the anticipated price hike for Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip. Samsung is considering MediaTek chips as a backup if there are production issues with their Exynos 2500 chips. MediaTek's flagship chips are competitive with Qualcomm's and outperform Samsung's Exynos chips. However, the S25 Ultra will exclusively feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. Furthermore, the S25 Ultra will see two major camera upgrades, a new 3x 50-megapixel telephoto lens and a much-anticipated ultra-wide-angle lens with a 50-megapixel resolution. This exciting news sets at high expectations for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. What are your thoughts on these changes? Let me know in the comments below. Peace out.